Mines and Energy Minister Tom Alwendo and Tirango Governor Neville Andre convened a meeting with community members at UIS to discuss the alleged illegal mining activities in the area. The meeting attracted a huge crowd, including members of parliament from the Landless People's Movement. Community members earlier this month expressed their frustration over illegal mining and handed over a petition to the leadership. One of the community members, Jimmy Arasab, indicated that since the protest, the community has done further investigation into the allegations and discovered overwhelming evidence of illegal dealings. The Sinn Féin investment. This company has an EPL application 8843, which is in this area, and that is still in its application process. An, act, an active mining license on 2243, uh, and a pending renewal EPL 7228 uh, in Ogumbay and Omaru area, which they were now, now, now exporting the, 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 the minerals from before. The long fire investment that is covering up for this Jim Feng mining. The one that the minister is saying is legal, say. We don't think that company is legal. We think that company is illegal. Why do we say so? This company has 10 mining claims that are from 73409 to 734184, semi-precious stones only. Not for lithium mining. For semi-precious, we have the application that they've applied states, semi-precious stones, not lithium or rare earth metals. The community is now wondering who gave these companies the right to mine industrial and rare earth minerals on the land they derive their livelihoods on. In his response, Minister Tom Alwendo said if there is anyone violating the law, there are consequences. The petition that we have, uh, we have given earlier, there was no proof of any legality. There wasn't any. But now you seem to have more evidence to show that this is an illegal. But at least on our records, based on what we thought we had, there was no illegality. But I cannot deny to say maybe there is something wrong. Maybe we missed something. And know that you seem to have that evidence. Give us that evidence. And then we, do, we see how to deal with it. I am not going to defend anyone who is found to be in contradiction of what the law says. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter who it is. I do not support illegality. But it has to be proven. Alwendo stressed that government and the community are on the same side and a second investigation will be carried out to give answers to issues raised. Renata Rengura, NBC News, Uis.